some of the testing kits, about uh, 500 uh, diagnostic kit. So this equipment has uh, got uh, the approval from NCDC and uh, also many companies are using. We hope uh, this machine can help uh, the office of uh, SGF uh, so that we can test it fast. So this one is uh, can uh, help us to protecting the, our staff from COVID-19. We can test uh, uh, more safe. We can do it uh, in the office, in the clinic. We are not necessarily go to the hospital and go to another labs. And also this one can be uh, more fast. Within about 50 minutes, we can get the result from the machine. And also this test cost is more affordable. So that is why we hope this donation, this machine and the materials can be useful for the office of SGF. Thank you. Thank you. Like uh, our general checking, we can put uh, five samples in one kit. So that means two. Okay. Thank you. Human Resources, Permanent Secretary, GSO and Directors in the Office of the Secretary to the Government. Uh, I can see our clinic staff here because they are going to be the users of this machine. Uh, gentlemen and ladies, uh, gentlemen of the press. Uh, let me start by thanking you uh, Tony, uh, the MD, and also the All Star Biotechnologies, Hanzu Limited, uh, who is collaborating with you in extending this donation of the nucleic acid amplification and dictation analyzer, four models with uh, 500 diagnostic kits to the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation for use in quick identification of COVID-19 infected people to prevent uh, cross-infection or community transmission of the virus. This donation is coming at a time of heightened apprehension over various vi variants of concern spreading across the wall. I really want to appreciate this donation because government alone cannot handle the national response on COVID-19. And that is why partners like CGC, Nigeria Limited, is contributing its quota to the national response and several other partners. We've received donations from governments, We've received donation from development partners. We received donation from corporate organizations like yours, which has uh, greatly helped us in crafting our national response and making a success of it, in spite of the very difficult challenges that have faced the entire world as a result of the ravaging effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. As you are aware, the pandemic is ravaging many economies and our lifestyles. It has disrupted the entire world system, uh, the governance system, the economic systems of the world, uh, the health infrastructure of even developed nations have crumbled because of the adverse effects of COVID-19. Hence, the need for testing 
and more testing in order to detect the cases early and treat to stop further spread of the virus. It's very, very important. Let me use this opportunity to call on everyone, particularly our people who live in the different states of the Federation, to be conscious of the fact that COVID-19 has not gone. It's still around. And it is becoming very, very virulent and dangerous because of the mutation of the virus that keeps surfacing. When you think you have already turned the curve, a very resistant variant will just show up. And that complicates even how we respond uh, to the pandemic. The only remedy available to us now is to continue to adhere to the non-pharmaceutical interventions. That is the wearing of face mask or any covering that will cover your nose and your mouth. As much as possible, continue to maintain basic hygiene, like washing of hands and the use of hand sanitizers. And as much as possible, maintain some physical distancing when you get into a congregated atmosphere. And if possible, except it is ultimately necessary, avoid large congregations and avoid travel that are totally unnecessary. Things that you can do over the phone, please do them and avoid moving from one place to the other. I also call on Nigerians and residents to avail themselves of the vaccines that have been received by the Nigerian government, some procured, some by way of donation from different governments. So far, we have been supplied about 5 million vaccines of different brands. We have the Madonna brand, which I launched yesterday uh, in rolling out the second phase of our vaccination. We've received some quantities of the Johnson & Johnson, which is slightly different because it is just one dose. And uh, this morning, we received some supplies of the AstraZeneca, which uh, came in from the, uh, by way of gift from the government of the United Kingdom. And there are more doses of different brands of vaccines that are coming in. So right now we have about 5 million on ground. So the question of scarcity of vaccine is not there. Uh, all we have to deal with, all we have to deal with now is the matters related to vaccine hesitancy and misinformation and disinformation that has uh, pervaded the whole world. It's not just a Nigerian phenomenon. As a matter of fact, most of the clips that you see uh, spreading some conspiracy theories are not Nigeria origin. They come from uh, because of uh, the fact that uh, the social media has made the world a global village. You can get any information from any constituency. So I believe we can achieve herd immunity early enough when we all come out to be vaccinated. And let me emphasize this. These vaccines that we have introduced in the first phase, which the president of this country with his family, the vice president, the Senate president, the speaker of the House of Representatives, and all leaders in different form and shape, including the state governors, have taken these vaccines. And they are still well and healthy and hearty, and they are still moving around and conducting the business of government. That presupposes that these vaccines are safe and they are efficacious. It means that it works, because science and facts have proven that most of the casualties that are coming as a result of COVID-19 
transmission and infection now are coming substantially from the non-vaccinated people or unvaccinated people. So I urge Nigerians to take the opportunity of the availability of the vaccines now to ensure that they take these vaccines. We are working on a protocol that would definitely help in creating uh, 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 equitable distribution of the vaccines uh, uh, so that at least as much as possible, those in need will have an opportunity of getting the vaccines. On a final note, I would like to state that this kind gesture from the Oster Biotechnologies Limited in collaboration with CGC Nigeria would go a long way in contributing to providing efficient, timely, and effective response to identifying those that are infected, because if you do not test, yeah. you will not find. And if you do not find, you cannot manage and treat. So they are tied together. But the most important thing that must be done is to test so that you can find those that are infected so that you can manage them and take them out of, out of circulation so that they do not propagate the transmission in their communities. And I believe if we all cooperate and work together, COVID-19 with its adverse impact and effect would be tamed. We are not likely to get over COVID-19 in a very short while, but substantially we will be able to manage the adverse effects of COVID-19. With these very few remarks, I once again thank you for your support and for your generous donation. And I want to uh, assure you that it is going to be put to proper and efficient and effective use so that we can safeguard the lives of the people that are working and those of our visitors that are visiting the office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation. I thank you very much. And by that, I turn Thank you very much.